Hey guys, I'm here in Austin, Texas at Paleo FX, and today we're going to talk about beta hydroxybutyrate or ketones, which are essentially an energy source for our brain when we don't have glucose or ready available energy from sugars, carbohydrates, etc. So the ketogenic diet is getting really popular, notably from people like Tim Ferriss where he's had guests like Dr. Dom D'Agostino and Peter Atia, and exogenous ketones are a supplemental way of helping get in nutritional ketosis or go through fasting periods and utilize ketones more effectively. So just a little disclaimer, I have done a ketogenic diet. I don't do it regularly and I do appreciate some of the benefits which I'll talk about a little bit later, but it is important to try and find what works specifically for you. Just because it's popular to do a ketogenic diet doesn't mean it's necessarily the best form. Also another thing to keep in mind, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to get some beta-hydroxybutyrate, as Dr. Peter Atia says, it tastes like jet fuel. You want to make sure that you have some type of flavored keto ketones and that's why I've got some chocolate sea salt ketones that I'll tell you a little bit about later. So guys, the, the number one benefit of using exogenous ketones or ketones in general is as an energy source. About 24 to 72 hours after not eating any calories or having very low carb, moderate protein, your body will go into a state of ketosis or start producing ketones as a fuel for your brain. Now this can be used almost indefinitely depending on the fat storage that you have in your body. An example is a study where somebody went through a 382 day water fast where essentially they were medicated through a doctor and they went through an entire process of getting rid of body fat with tons of water consumption in addition to a few other nutrients for supplemental purposes. Now anecdotally, this energy source is somewhat better for focus and concentration than glucose according to some people. If you look on Reddit, Longevity, some of the other uh, weight loss forums, you'll see a lot of people talk about how much better they feel in a ketogenic state. Now keep in mind, uh, this might not work for you and more importantly, that might be after they have become keto adapted or their body is more used to utilizing ketones for energy. So the second benefit of exogenous ketones is increased BDNF, brain derived neurotrophic factor. And this is essentially fertilizer for your brain. It helps with improving cognitive function and specifically with functions related to memory formation, learning ability, etc. So the third benefit of exogenous ketones or a ketogenic diet is neuroprotection. There is tons of evidence to suggest that ketones can help prevent neurological decline, can prevent uh, neuronal loss in old age, prevent Alzheimer's disease, etc. Now I want to be clear that all of these studies have been done on people who are already diseased. Most of the times these are people with specific illnesses, these are specific use cases with a disease model. There's not a lot of evidence for healthy individuals on whether or not ketones can enhance performance. So there's a theoretical benefit that I've mentioned in all of these uh, different categories, but it may not be applicable to you. Now the final component to this is something really interesting. I have yet to verify, but I was inside. I spoke with Dr. Lane Sebring. He's a ancestral wellness functional medicine doctor and we talked about how ketones can be used in combination with glucose as two types of energy sources for the brain. Now Ben Greenfield talks about this, there's a number of anecdotal reports about using both carbs and ketones for performance in a physical sense, but it is something to keep in mind that it might improve your 
cognitive performance, your cognitive function it, to combine these two as well. So someone like me, for example, might have a diet that includes plenty of carbohydrates, whether it's uh, you know sweet potatoes or pizza, and then have ketones as well as another energy source. Now guys, when it comes to the side effects of exogenous ketones, it's something that you do want to be careful of because A, it can cause some gastrointestinal distress if you take beta, uh, beta hydroxybutyrate in too high of a quantity it will cause some stomach problems also for somebody who's not used to it it could cause some gastrointestinal distress so if you just take beta hydroxybutyrate it's going to taste really bad and I recommend you find an alternative source if you can it's a little bit more expensive perhaps but gonna go down a lot easier create a lot fewer side effects for you and of course just because ketones are natural or naturally produced doesn't necessarily mean that they come free of side effects. Too many ketones can create a condition called ketoacidosis. So guys, if you stick to the 10 to 12 gram dose range, you should be okay, but don't overdo the ketones. Don't think that more is better because again, like I said, you can take too much, you can have toxicity problems, and you can die. So one thing you want to keep in mind if you're doing nutritional ketosis and you're taking high doses of exogenous ketones is you could just check your blood and try and find some kind of ketone meter. I'll put some more details about that below so that you can make sure you check whether or not you're taking too many ketones. So anyway guys, for a while Keto OS was the only source of ketones that were with MCT powder and you know relatively bioavailable. Now there's another brand that I'd recommend simply because I don't like MLMs. Uh, Perfect Keto is a really useful exogenous ketone. It's pretty affordable. It, this is the chocolate sea salt, so you can get a, a beta hydroxybutyrate product for relatively cheap. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do want to find out a little bit more about beta hydroxybutyrate, go ahead and click right here. You'll be taken to the link with all the studies that I mentioned, even more information, and also of course a link to purchase the exogenous ketones from Perfect Keto, which I just want to add a little note, like all the other vendors that I uh, have experience with, I personally know the owner, his name's Justin, and I've talked with him on the phone about their products, why they do what they do. I've usually, I've seen the manufacturing facilities for all these companies, so if you want to make sure you have a safe recommendation, go ahead, click the link right here. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time. Enjoy inside my DNA. I got hustle.